Detectives from Carseldine Criminal Investigation Branch have charged 29 people with over 180 offenses, including 12 charged with trafficking, following the closure of Operation Tango Balboa. Dismantling a complex drug trafficking syndicate operating throughout southeast Queensland. Investigations into the syndicate identified over 25 drug couriers connected to a 35-year-old Upper Mount Gravit man who supplied methamphetamine, and is thought to have connections with bikies in the area. Throughout the 14-month-long operation, detectives seized over 18 kilograms of methamphetamine, approximately $556,000 in cash, and two firearms. Police also located significant amounts of ketamine and cocaine. Officers believe that drugs, worth in excess of $50 million, were sold over at least a one-year period. On January 19 during a search of a vehicle used by the group, detectives located a concealed area containing approximately 6 kilograms of methamphetamine, $330,000 cash, a commercial money counter, cocaine and a mobile device. On February 1, detectives executed a search warrant at an area of bushland near Colo, northwest of Brisbane, where they located a demountable with multiple items used to produce illicit drugs as well as approximately 12 kilograms of methamphetamine. A 61-year-old Colo man was charged with drug-related offenses. He has appeared in court and has been granted bail to reappear at a later date. How you going, sir? Wow. We have Counter. a currency sorter and a number of bags. Detective Senior Sergeant Ken Rogers said that Operation Tango Balboa was a significant law enforcement operation targeting a well-organized and sophisticated drug trafficking network. Throughout the 14 months of the operation, Carseldine detectives were supported by federal law enforcement partner agencies, as well as specialist police from various units within Brisbane region. I commend the diligent efforts of all involved in this substantial operation whose results have caused major disruption to the supply of dangerous drugs across southeast Queensland through the collapsing of a significant drug syndicate. There are many people before the courts that should they be found guilty are facing potentially lengthy jail terms, some in excess of 20 years. I encourage anyone with information in relation to illicit drugs in our community to contact police or crime stoppers. Together we can and do make a difference.